We are going to make a house for our larger dolls. So I'm using an 18 by 18 by 24 inch box, extra recycled cardboard, beads and buttons, a few printables from our blog, scrapbook paper, and our printable scrapbook paper that can be printed from our blog, myfroggystuff.blogspot.com. I just touch the picture of the one that I want, then click download to print so that they come out at full size. And we're going to need lots of glue. I start by laying the box down so that the 24 inch side is in front of me. Using a ruler, find the center of the box, continue the line all the way around, cut on the line drawn, and I end up with two 18 by 18 by 12 inch boxes. Make the boxes, reinforce the sides and bottom of the boxes with extra cardboard, glue the two boxes together, glue long pieces of cardboard onto the sides. At this point, it is a pretty solid structure, so I turn it to the front, Cut, glue several layers together in descending order, glue it to the front end of a longer piece of cardboard, slide and glue it under the boxes. To keep the box level, I add more cardboard underneath. Cut a thin triangle that is as wide as the stairs. Then cut four. Cut another piece of cardboard that is the same length as the top stair. Glue on the triangles. Glue a piece of folded cardboard on top. Glue it about 18 inches above the steps. Cut thin strips of cardboard and glue them together. And glue them underneath. Cut three more triangles that are the same width as the box. Glue them together. Glue them on top. To add more detail to the front, I fold a piece of cardboard like a trifold. Trace the bottom onto a spare piece of cardboard. Cut it out. Cut several. Then glue them in place. Glue it to the front. Begin covering it with paper. Glue on the printable door. To make the door large enough, I printed two panels and then trim the bottom off of one. And then I'm just going to match them up. Glue on the printable windows. Use paper to add trim. Cover the inside with paper and trim as well. Cut and bend a piece of cardboard. Glue it on top for the roof. Cut the paper into small pieces to make shingles. Glue a button or a bead to the front door for the knob to make a little house for a big doll. Now given the dimensions of the box used, our doll has just enough space to stand up. But this works great for us when space is an issue. However, if we wanted to give the doll more clearance, we would just use a bigger box. Now we can decorate it with a few of our doll's favorite things. Use the attic for storage. And you're done. Happy crafting! Hello, cousin. Nice place you got here. Thanks. Do you mind if I stay for a while? Uh... I'll be as quiet as a mouse. You won't even know I'm here. Oh, what's that? Oh, boy. We want to give a shout out to AG Song Lover. What's up? That was an antique. Isn't antique just another word for old? 
<laughs> Looks like I did you a favor. Now you can get a new one. No need to thank me. Uh...